it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today is our first Christmas cards of the year. I know it probably seems earlier to non-crafters but for crafters I guess this is almost a little bit late because I like to start about June. However we are going to be using these stamps by Tim Holtz. I wanted to do these last year but I never got around to it so that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm starting off with some craft card. It's an A4 sheet which I am cutting into fours who make A6. Um, I'm gonna, this is to create the mats so I will cut those down a quarter inch from the A6 size but I'm starting off by cutting them to A6 because it's just easier to do it that way and then I'm cutting two pieces of craft card in half to create A6 cards and then scoring them to fold to make the actual A6 card itself. Um, A6 is a bit of a pain, any A4, A5 cards are a bit of a pain so I actually had to mark it on one half and then I had the A6 part on the viscous there which is why I scored it. I then cut some of this gorgeous brushed um, gold to be an eighth of an inch smaller than my A6 so again I cut it into four so it became exactly A6 and then I just cut that down to the eighth of an inch so I'm just going to pop that all to one side I'm just going to grab my mats here and we're going to start by stamping I'm using my stamp platform here because I'm going to be using some embossing ink and it's quite a detailed stamp so I just want to have the advantage of being able to restamp since I have the stamp platform then obviously it's worth making use of if you don't clearly you can still give um, do this card it's not a problem um, just make sure you give it a nice good press to be sure that you get that embossing ink down so I'm choosing four Christmas trees and four sentiments from the stamp set here there's really cute trees and I think you could do a lot with them but I really wanted to go for something quite simple here so I'm starting off by just picking as I say four of each and then just mixing them up it, it, I don't think there's any particular one that can go with another it, it all seems to work pretty well together um, remember as I nearly didn't there that if you're using a stamp platform to twist the lid round to be the right side for rubber stamps so I stamped it using my Simon Says stamp embossing ink and then I'm using this gorgeous cosmic shimmer bright gold embossing powder however before before I did that I actually remembered to use my dusting powder if you're new to embossing you want to ensure that you dust your surface before you emboss because if you've been touching it your fingerprints uh, and any other marks can actually attract the embossing powder so you don't really want to do that it's just a bit of a pain I mean it's always doable you can put it right with a little paintbrush etc if you do forget <laughs> to ask me how I know I always forget to do it but I actually remember today so um, yeah if you do remember it just makes it a little bit easier don't worry about the fact that there's sort of with this colored card particularly you can see that it's dusty we'll get that sorted afterwards so don't worry about it at this point in time and you can see here by having that powder it really was very perfect um, in picking up only the embossing that I stamped not anything else so um, I used two with the regular gold that I just talked about then the third one I picked up a different embossing powder it's this gorgeous gold sparkle also by Cosmic Shimmer really really nice so I tried it first of all um, with just embossing ink because I have to say the reason I did this was because somebody mentioned about how gorgeous that purple uh, embossing powder was the sparkle that was in that kit the other week from Hero Arts and I said oh what do you use it on and then I thought you know why do I I just need to give it a go see what works so I wasn't sure if it would work on the clear embossing ink so this was the only gold ink that I had so it was a little bit fiddly to try and ink just using the middle and I think I did catch a little bit of the edge in the darker color but I actually quite liked it if you can see just down the edge and then the other side has got a little bit of the silver but I think it turned out okay um, the stamping part with that tri color there I, did, I think I quite liked it and then again as I say I just used that same embossing powder on top so we'll see which one turns out better or if we like them both then they just give different results or do we see it any difference at all 
Now when I'm heat embossing, I like to swap from the back to the front. What I find is if you stick on one side, the card tends to bend. It sort of curls up. Eventually, if you keep going, I think it does kind of set the back down. I'm always too nervous in case it doesn't. So I kind of do a bit at the front, a bit at the back, and then it, it sort of helps it. I mean, it's always going to be slightly distorted, but it does help it a bit. So I've done the first two with the gold there. Now we're on to the two glitter embossings, and this is the first one with the clear embossing ink. And I was really surprised at how strongly that image came out. I was expecting it to be much paler, and actually the coloured ink was a lot more subtle, and I was absolutely not expecting that. So um, I actually did prefer the original. So now we're putting these together. So when we bolt make, I tend to do all the layers in one go. So I'm going to do all the gold ones first. I find it tends to be quicker that way. So I'm putting all my gold layers on and then I'm going to stick my um, tree layers on. So I'm leaving it plain on the inside this time. I know really unusual for me, but I decided it's going to be a really simple card. So I'm just using my tape pen. But what you'll notice is I said to you I did a quarter inch on all sides but actually I slightly lied to you I slightly shortened it top and bottom because I wanted that brush gold to show and I just think that turned out really nicely with that just that little gap extra at the top and bottom I just think it gave it a, just a slight different look and it just showed that gold off a bit more but I felt that it needed just a little something something so I took this gorgeous uh, sequined ribbon inverted commas from stamping up and I was trying to knot this for a while and what was happening was it was twisting the sequence was twisting around as you knotted it along the length and so you were getting the back of them and it just wasn't working for me I didn't like that so what I did in the end was I put a glue dot down stuck the two bits of ribbon into it as you saw and then did my knots and that held it from twisting and so you got the beautiful shiny side of that old sequins showing and it just personally I think that looked a lot better than it twisting around there may be some other super clever techniques that you guys know about uh, stopping that happening but I don't know it yet so I thought that would be my best option and also it kind of holds it in place as well from slipping around etc so that's them done for very simple but I think effective Christmas cards. I'm not necessarily going hugely this year on bulk buys. We did a lot of bulk make last year with our Christmas cards. So um, definitely take a look back at those if you hadn't seen them. I, I am going to mix it up a bit, but I just felt with such a simple card that it would be nice to see some of the different trees. And this was one of the ones I'd actually planned, as I said, for last year. So hence why it was more a bulk buy. Bulk buy, I keep saying that, bulk make. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I hope you like and as always, don't forget to hop on over to the blog post. If you're here on YouTube, you will find the link in the paragraph below this video. Just click on show more and it will open it up. When you go across to the blog post, what you'll see is obviously the video, but also a load of photos, links to the products used and of course, a way for you to subscribe to the website so that you get notified every time I post a video. And I would love you to do that if you haven't already. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye.